Hello students, welcome to a brand new school year in virtual learning mode. I know this is going to be really strange for you guys. Um, it's going to be strange for us teachers too, but I think if we start off on the right foot, it'll help you guys keep track of your assignments and it will make for a more seamless school year in virtual learning mode. I want to go over a few things that are going to make a huge difference in how you guys navigate your classes, receive notifications, and so forth. So the first thing I want us to do is work on our Canvas settings before we go talk about our dashboard, our email, our calendar, etc. All I did right here is I went to my blue global navigation bar right here on my left hand side and I clicked on account and I went to settings. So blue global navigation, account and settings. And the first thing I want to do is I want to put in some kind of selfie for my teacher to be able to identify my face with my name. This is especially important because in virtual learning, of course, your teacher is not going to go and greet you in the hallway. So this is just going to uh, personalize your Canvas profile a little further. So now that we're in our account settings, we're going to go right here next to your name where I see Elizabeth Abaya settings. I see my face because I already put in a selfie. I'm going to hover my mouse over that circle and I'm going to click on the pencil sign. And over here, I'm going to be able to either take a picture using my computer's webcam or I can choose a picture that I already have saved to my phone or to my computer. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to select choose a picture and I know I have a picture that I want to use in my desktop that I want to place as my canvas selfie. And I'm just going to drag the circle here so I can center it more on my face. For your canvas selfies, I would like you guys to take a picture of your face and shoulders, nothing below, so no full body because I want to be able to associate your name with your face for when we hopefully go back to in-person learning eventually this school year. I can actually recognize you. So save when you're happy with it. And that about completes that step. So I want all of you guys to place a selfie for your Canvas settings. Next, we're gonna talk about how you're gonna receive your notifications. So over on my right hand side, I have ways to contact. I want you guys to place both or one of either of these two, an email address or a phone number where you guys are going to receive notifications about assignments that I'm going to place on Canvas, about announcements that I want you guys to know about. Pretty much anything going on on Canvas, I want you guys to get some notifications so that you're always on the loop. So I'm going to go to where it says plus email address and I'm going to type in my email, lizabaya713 at gmail.com. So wherever you guys receive personal emails, you can also um, put in your parents' email if you don't have a personal one or whatever the case may be. So I'm gonna select register email and it's gonna tell me, oh, they're gonna send me a confirmation link that I have to accept, whatever, you guys know that. So I'm gonna click okay, thanks. Then I'm gonna go right below it where it says plus contact method and I'll be able to place my personal cell phone number. Now, I don't really want to place my cell phone number out on the internet for everybody to see, but I want you guys to go and put your cell phone number so that you guys can receive text alerts whenever I put out an announcement or I grade an assignment, for example. So now I see that Canvas already has my personal email, so I gotta tell Canvas now how they're going to send me those um, notifications, what notifications I want to receive. I'm gonna go right here back to account and notifications. Now, I don't want Canvas to send me a notification for every single thing. No, there's maybe four or five things that I definitely want to know about. So right over here, I see that my email address was added, lizabaya at gmail.com. So there's a few things that I definitely want to know about, but some that I don't. Everything that I X'd, Canvas is not going to send me a notification. So all these X's right here, I'm not receiving a single email or text message or anything from Canvas. However, I do want to receive emails for due dates, for example. If my teacher goes and publishes a brand new assignment, I need to know when it's due so I can get started on it, right? I also want to know when my teacher puts an announcement on Canvas because announcements are going to share important information such as, for example, if I need to go and pick up art supplies, 
I need to know when they're going to be available for pickup, where I can pick them up. So that's an example of an announcement. I want to know when my teacher grades one of my submissions, obviously, so I can check how well I did. So I'm going to go and click the plus sign next to grading. I'm going to scroll down a little bit um, and select other things that I definitely do want to know about. So anytime that there's some kind of calendar event um, that my teacher's going to put, such as, for example, we are meeting tomorrow on Teams at such and such time, I want to know about it. So I'm going to place a little check mark next to calendar. If there's anything else that you guys here would like to get notifications about, so for example, if someone went and made a comment to you, um, on a discussion post and you want to get notified about it, then maybe you want to go and click the uh, plus sign for discussion post. But you guys can definitely um, edit how you guys are going to receive your notifications and what you guys are going to get notifications for. Where it says submission comment, that's something I definitely encourage you guys to get a little plus sign for. That means if I go and grade one of your projects and you guys didn't get the score you wanted like let's say you got a 70 out of 100 and you want to know why obviously i will more more than likely a hundred percent of the time um put in some kind of comment explaining why you got the points deducted and what you can do to gain those points back if you choose to do so so just to summarize here are the things that i want you guys to click the plus sign for so you guys get the notifications so due dates for sure, announcements for sure, grading, submission comments, and calendar events. Those are things that you definitely need to be aware of, okay? So now that we are done setting our notifications, you guys are gonna do this basically for whatever email addresses you guys put in and whatever cell phone number you put in as well. Um, we are gonna go and move on to our dashboard. Our dashboard is going to be found in our global blue global navigation bar right up here um, beside the account. So I'm going to select dashboard and this is going to take me to pretty much all the classes that I am enrolled in this semester. All right, most of you guys are going to see your dashboard in recent activity view. And I don't think this is very conducive to you um, so that you guys can actually keep track of the classes you're enrolled in and the things you have to do because all it shows is basically um, assignments that you have pending and announcements. That's all well and good, but I want to be able to see all my classes so I can go one by one through all my classes and see what I have to do. So right over here next to where it says dashboard, I have these little three dots. These are going to open up my options. I don't want to see the recent activity view. I want to go and select Hard view. So I want you guys all to pause the video and try this with me. We are going to go and change our dashboard to card view and this is what you guys should see. You guys should see all the classes that you guys are enrolled in if you guys scroll down. These are the classes that even though I'm a teacher I am enrolled in as a student. Okay so I am going to have to do's for each of these classes. If I look at some of these classes, for example, I can see that this class has a bunch of um, discussions that I need to read. There's a little um, number that says 14 next to the little discussion. So I need to go into that class and figure it out. If I had, for example, a, uh, a number next to this little bullhorn symbol, I know that there would be an announcement that I need to read. But right now, before I go and click on each of these classes, I want to make it a little easier for me to categorize these classes when I'm looking at the events in my calendar. And to do that, I'm going to go to back to where it says dashboard and the three dots, and I'm going to select color overlay. I'm going to put a little plus sign next to that to enable it. And you guys will see that right now there's colors that are going over the pictures for each of my classes in card view. Now these are uh, colors that I had selected previously. If you don't like those colors, not a problem. You guys can change it. So I'm going to hover over this one class right here, um, Elizabeth Sample Course, right? And I'm going to click on the plus sign and I can go and give this class any particular color I want. So I think this class should be pink and I'm going to click apply and you guys are going to see that that pink color is now overlaid on top of the picture of the class. 
This is gonna be really important. This is what I recommend that you guys all do. For each of your classes, give it a different color. So if this first class is pink, this second class, maybe I wanna give it a green color, right? This third class, maybe I wanna give it an orange color. And this one is already set to blue, so I'm gonna leave it at blue, okay? And the reason why I'm doing this is because later I wanna go through my calendar events and all these calendar events are actually going to be color coordinated. So let me show you guys how to do that now. We're gonna go back to our glue, glue. <laughs> We're gonna go back to our blue global navigation course um global navigation bar i'm sorry and we're gonna scroll down to where it says calendar so right now my calendar for august of 2020 looks a little bit empty and part of this could be because i don't have assignments yet and part of this be could be because i haven't actually enabled any classes to show on my calendar. So if you guys look right here, underneath the little, um, the minor calendar on my right hand side, I have all the classes that I'm enrolled in for this particular semester. I wanna see the assignments that I have for, let's say my math class. And I'm gonna assume this is my math class. So I'm gonna click it. And because I had turned this class um, pink in my dashboard, I'm gonna see all the assignments for that class in pink and they are due on the 28th. So I know that's something that I need to get a move on so that I won't be late submitting those assignments. Um, I turned my other classes different colors, so I'm gonna go ahead and enable them and see if there's things that I need to submit this month. So it looks like I don't have any other submissions to make other than these two on the 28th. If I actually go back to July of 2020th, maybe I'll see that I have different assignments to submit in June of 2020th. So I can go and flip through the different months. If you guys would rather see a week by week calendar and not a month by month calendar, you guys can select right here, week by week. So I want you guys to basically edit the calendar to whatever is gonna make the most sense to you. I always leave it in month because I feel like that helps me keep track of all my courses when I have a lot of assignments to submit, but you guys are gonna edit it however you see fit. Now let's say I am completely unable to make a certain event or assignment that I have on my calendar. So I see right here, I have a Nearpod that's due on the 28th. It is now the 27th and I've come down with a fever, uh-oh. So I need to let my teacher know ASAP so she can maybe go and give me some kind of extension, right? So instead of waiting a whole week after the assignment is due to let my teacher know, hey, I had a fever, I'm gonna let her know right now so that she can help me ahead of time. So in my blue global navigation bar, right underneath calendar, I have my inbox. I'm gonna click on inbox and this is where I'm gonna be able to send a message to my teacher. Unless you guys have received emails from your teachers prior to this, your inbox is gonna be completely empty like I see here. So I gotta let my teacher know I can't make this assignment, I'm not feeling so well, um, and I wanna let her know now. So I'm gonna go right over here to this little icon that looks like a pencil for compose a new message, and I'm gonna select the course that I'm sending my, uh, for the teacher that I'm sending the email to. So you guys would go and select the course. I already have mine selected. Let's say I'm gonna email my math teacher and let her know I can't make this Teams meeting. I am not feeling so well. I don't wanna appear on camera, you know, with boogers dripping down my nose, whatever the case may be. So under two, I'm gonna start typing in my teacher's name. So my teacher's name is Elizabeth Abaya. And under subject, be very specific in the subject. So I can't make our teams, oops, our teams meeting. Your teachers will understand and work with you if you let them know ahead of time. And then over here, you can write out your message, okay? So I'm feeling sick, blah, 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 blah. And then you guys can press send. You cannot email your fellow students this way. You can only email your teacher here, but please do so if there's something you need your teacher to know um, and that is important. 
I am going over my notes and I believe I've gone over all the things that I suggest for you guys to do, but I'm gonna summarize with you very quickly. So first, I want you guys to go to your account and I want you guys to add a selfie. I want you guys to go to your notifications, add your cell phone number or your email address and select the things that you guys wanna get notifications for in your email. If you guys go to Canvas, I gave you guys a list of the things that I recommend, but it ultimately it's gonna be up to you for you to be responsible and get those notifications every time an announcement is put up, an assignment, etc. Then I want you guys to go to your dashboard and I want you guys to enable card view and I want you guys to give a color to each of your different classes so they're easier to follow up for. I want you guys to go to your calendar and when you're in your calendar, I want you guys to go and enable each of your classes and I want you guys to select which view you want to select from week, month, etc. Whatever's going to help you keep track of your assignments and your due dates. And lastly, I want you guys to go to your inbox. And when you're in your inbox, I want you guys to practice writing an email to your teacher so that you can let them know whenever anything comes up. If you guys have any questions or concerns, you guys can leave me a comment and let me know, or you guys can mail me through Canvas. Um, and I will see you guys later. Bye.